Welcome to linuxn.com. In this session, you are going to see about how to set up backup server using Bakula and Webmin on CentOS 6.5. Bakula is an open source network backup software used to allow the system administrators to manage backup, recovery, and send the verification of data from any system in any location across the network. Now I'm going to install the Bakula and MySQL server. For that command is yum install bakula hyphen directory hyphen mysql space bakula hyphen console bakula hyphen client bakula hyphen storage hyphen mysql mysql hyphen server mysql hyphen devl space hyphen y and press enter the installation process of the bakula and mysql server has been get completed now I'm going to start the MySQL service and create root password for MySQL. Now start the MySQL service for that command is service MySQL D start. Now the MySQL D service has been get started. For making it start at the boot time for that command is check config MySQL D on. Now it has get enabled. Now I'm going to create the root password for MySQL. For that command is MySQL admin hyphen u root password. And here you have to type the password for the root and press enter. Now the password has been get set for the MySQL admin. Now follow the below commands one by one to create database and the necessary tables for Bakula. First I'm going to grant mysql privileges for the bakula directory here this command is going to grant the privileges for the bakula directory and press enter type the root password for the mysql admin and press enter here you can able to see it has set the privileges for the user bakula granted on the database bakula now i'm going to create a database in the name of bakula for that command is this command is used to create a database in the name of Bakula and press enter. Type the root password. Now the database has been get created. Now for creating a table inside the Bakula database, for that follow the below command and press enter. Here it has created the Bakula MySQL tables. Now I am going to grant the Bakula privileges for the database and the tables that are present inside. For that follow the below command and press enter now give the password to grant the mysql privileges now the privileges has been get set for the bracula and granted on the database bracula now set the bracula user password on mysql for that i need to move inside the mysql for that command is mysql hyphen u root hyphen p and press enter now type the password for the root user of mysql and press enter now i have get entered into the mysql now follow the below command to update the mysql user and set the password for the user bracula here you can able to see the command this is the password which i have set for the user bracula and press enter now it has been get created now flush the privileges and press enter now the privileges has been get flushed now give exit now update all the regular configuration file with new password and addresses for that first open the regular directory for that command is vim etc slash regular hyphen dot conf and press enter first set the password for the director so change the password here now I'm going to change the password for the client. So go and search for the client and change the password. Here you can able to see the client. Change the password for the client also. And here set the address for the client. The IP address here. And now move to the storage. In the storage set the IP address where you want to get stored. And here you have to set the password for the storage. Now move to the catalog. In the catalog change the database username and database password which we have get created in the mysql now i'm going to set the password for the user regular now configure the console 
in the console type the password after making all the changes now save the file now update the regular console for that vim etc bracula bconsole.conf and press enter here change the password for the director after that save the file now update the storage for that vim etc bracula bracula if in st.con and press enter now set the password for the director now remove the below lines after removing the lines move to the device and I give the path for archive device after that save the file now update the file for that then etc bracula bracula ifn ft conf and press enter now update the password for the director now remove the below lines now save the file now create the directory which you have mentioned in the archive device for that command is mkdir and the name of the directory is my backup and press enter now the directory has been get created now give the owner permission as regular for the directory for that command is cho and the name of the user regular and the directory my backup and press enter now the owner permission has been get changed now start the regular directory service for that command is service regular hyphen dar start and press enter now the service has been get started from the regular directory on service regular hyphen fd start now the service has been get started for the bacula fd now for storage device service bacula hyphen sd start now the service has been get started from the bacula storage now for making it as a bootable start check config bacula hyphen dar space o and on now for the directory is it has been get enabled and for bacula fd and press enter now it has been get on for the bacula directory and for storage device sd and press enter now it has been get started for the storage device in bacula for managing bacula with webmin for that download the webmin package by using wget command for that follow the below link and press enter now the package has been started to download the package has been get downloaded now install the package for that command is rpm space hyphen capital u v h space and the name of the package is webmin and press enter the package webmin has been get installed in my system now start the webmin service for that command is service webmin start the service has been get started now make the service on for the bootable for that command is chk config webmin on and press enter now the service has been get on for boot now i'm going to add the webmin port number 10000 to the firewall and bracula port numbers 9101 9102 and 9103 going to be get added to the firewall for that i need to open the ip tables configuration file then etc sysconfig IP tables inside the file add the following port number here you can able to see I have added the following port numbers 10,000 the port number for webmin and the 9101 for bracula 102 and 103 port number has been get added to the IP tables after that save the file now restart the IP tables service for that command is service IP tables restart and press enter the ip tables has been get restarted for accessing webmin move to the web browser in the web browser type the ip address of your server colon the port number for the webmin 10000 and press enter here you can able to see the login page of the webmin 
type the username and password here and click on login now the webmin has been get successfully logged in now we need to find the regular backup system in the left side pan of the web console under the system regular backup system and then click on regular backup system here you can able to see the error message it is failed to connect to regular database for that click on module configuration here choose mysql give the password for a login which you have created in the mysql admin now save the configuration here you can able to see the regular backup system by using this you can add backup client volume and schedule the jobs etc thank you for watching